The young woman's mother has a warning for parents of adopted children. She says that if their child wants to reunite with their biological parents, they should be in therapy when they do because some of the feelings that come up during the reunion can be confused with something else. These pictures show a happy new mother and father. This link, the couple's baby registry. But this is anything but your typical love story. 20-year-old Katie Platel is 42-year-old Stephen Platel's biological daughter. This is a pretty unique set of facts, I'd say. North Carolina investigators arrested the couple. Both face charges related to incest and will be extradited back to Henrico, where they first allegedly developed a sexual relationship. It's a Class 5 felony uh, if that occurs in Virginia, and that means you can get up to 10 years in prison. We talked to Stephen Platel's ex-wife, who is Katie's mom, over the phone. She said she was 17 when she had Katie and Stephen was 22. They gave her up for adoption. But when Katie reached the age of 18, she located her biological parents to develop a relationship. She ultimately moved in with them for a couple of months at this Henrico home and called the pair mom and dad. Katie's mom ultimately moved out when the couple opted to separate. She said she had no idea a sexual relationship started between the pair until she read one of her other daughter's journals where she found drawings of Katie being pregnant and wrote that her dad was trying to make her call Katie stepmom. At that point, she said she took out protective orders against Stephen so he couldn't go near her or their younger daughters. She says Katie and Stephen got married in Maryland and then moved to North Carolina, where they were ultimately arrested. She believes Stephen brainwashed and manipulated their daughter. CBS 6 legal analyst Todd Stone says the judge who hears the case will have some tough choices to make. And a judge will have the opportunity to decide, uh, you know, whether this statute makes this conduct illegal uh, because of moral ideas and religious ideas or whether it's because of science and, you know, increased chance of birth defects. Um, and then, you know, what should the penalty really be for people who are both adults and consenting to a sexual relationship even though it's illegal in Virginia and, and most other places? Now, to that point, Stone says incest is not illegal everywhere. In fact, it's not against the law in New Jersey. And he says in some countries it is perfectly acceptable. But in Virginia, that is not the case.